Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today, it's a Season 5 PvP tier list. I know it's been a while. The season just started, I think, a week ago. But let's look back into my previous tier list and see if I can make any changes. And if you guys didn't notice, I have a Z plus section. A new section. Finally. The Z section right now is just feels cluttered. And I feel like every time a new SS unit drops, I just put it in the Z section. It's time for me to distinguish between these SS units and put them in the right section accordingly. So right now, I want to move down Mihawk to C+. And if you guys didn't know, Mihawk hit really hard with the nerfs. I noticed it in PvE, but not that much in PvP. But my man has been in the God Tier section for pretty much 5 months now. And I don't feel a God Tier like in him right now. So... I have to move him down to C plus and now look at Z section right here I so I feel like there's one unit it's very unique and more distinguishable than all the other SS units that are in the section right now and that would be crocodile and you guys be thinking what crocodile how is crocodile better than all of these units I right. first of all a lot of people are banning I noticed that in top rank the reason why this guy is good is because he could deal a ton of damage within a short amount of time period because of a lot of perks in his skills his extra card can do a counter attack and then you can use a tashigi to then continue a combo so you're doing good damage right there right you have a good opportunity to counter attack and not only that his special ability can also counter attack disrupt the enemy's combo and then you could then do a combo right after and using a sandstorm attack right you can then redirect it to also start a combo as well so there are so many possibilities where you could do a ton of damage in a short amount of time period right so that's pretty much what you want in pvp and crocodile can do that he is a bit difficult but if you master him correctly my man is sweeping the game He's, he's doing a ton of damage and that is the re prime reason why I want to put him in C plus and very unique compared to all those SS units that are in the C section right there. I'm not going to change anything um, right now from the other sections. I'm going to keep it the same over here. God tier, nothing to say there. Moria and Asher is dominating right now. They're so good. Their skill sets are just broken. Hi guys, so now let's talk about the new units that just dropped. Brook, I would say go to S tier. I mean, this guy is little the same as Vivi's partner skill. So I'm pretty sure everyone's going to use his partner skill than the character itself. I mean, I, I did play him a few times in PvP. I mean, there's nothing special about him. If you guys want a PvP gameplay, for him let me know in the comment section below and i'll do it but i would definitely say this guy is gonna just be used as a partner skill for sure rayuma i gotta wait for the next season pass and to get the to get him in the shop uh, as a trial so i'll definitely have him as a pvp showcase i really like his skills I've seen a lot of videos about him definitely definitely good but let's talk about gear 2. My man gear 2 is a difficult one right here, man. My guy is very fun to play. But he is so tough to play, guys. Tough to play because the fact that he loses his health. And also going gear 3. Like, pretty much going a little Luffy. I'm just... There's so many things going about him. So many drawbacks. I have to put him in S plus, man. It has to be done. I'm sorry, man. The first SS unit that's not a Z tier. Like, that's crazy. I mean, if the devs did buff him in some way, like, pretty much... I hope they just remove the, the health situation. I mean, if they remove the health situation, like, decreasing and stuff like that, if they remove that... I mean, my, my boy just, like, pretty much is a solid Z tier. But yeah, guys... He's definitely a S plus. He's not. I mean, from what I've seen so far, I can't put him in Z. I really can't. 
Akuma is a Z. I mean, my, my, my guy is really good. Long range attacks everywhere and his special it does like this crazy damage, bro. Oh my god, I really like Kuma. But he's not a Z plus or a god tier, for sure. I mean, Mori could just destroy Kuma with, with ease with this using his extra card. So yeah, pretty much I would say this would be my Season 5 tier list. There's a few changes. I made a Z plus section. I know it's going to be hard to put everyone in the Z section. So yeah, hope you guys liked the video. On to the next one. Bye.